Hey guys, and welcome to Star Citizen with your host, Von Klaus. So, you're new to Star Citizen, and you just got the game? You got your pledge ship? Now, what do you do now? Well, first off, we have to log in. Um, now, my primary residence is in Lorville. That's just where, personally, I like to start. Now, mind you, you have several choices. You don't have to choose Lorville. You can choose, uh, you can choose Area 18, uh, uh, golly, I just went blank, guys. Um, Orison, I think is the name of it. You can tell how often I've actually been there because I can't remember the name. Okay. Now, first off, when you log in, you're going to be in your room. Now, if you're new to the game, chances are you have no weapons unless you bought from the website you can buy some gear which I highly recommend uh, hang on before I get too low on fluid I need to press the Y key to get out of bed if you press and hold it you'll exit to bed okay then secondly like anything you can't drink with a helmet on so wow that was an ugly sight okay so first off I have to take my helmet off and then I need to click on my drink in my which is in my core armor compartment uh, which is actually somewhere on my body uh, not my legs I think it's uh, it's in in my breast armor somewhere uh, anyway we're gonna click to carry it and then you have to click off of your inventory and you press I for inventory by the way and then press your interact key and then click drink with your mouse now if you hold your mouse key you'll drink the whole bottle if you hold your mouse key now see that put me at 83% and then we can just click F and hit drop. And we'll throw the empty on the floor. That will eventually disappear. Okay, so, as I said, I do recommend that you buy some gear, uh, which is attributed gear, from the pledge store. When you go to the pledge store, there's a, a tab that says extras. Uh, when you click on it, you can click on gear and you can buy gear. Now, like I said, I recommend you do that. First off, we'll go back to inventory. Just so you can see, everything that you see here is pledge gear that I have bought um, with the exception of I think this breastplate here this armor here 
is actually a guard armor that I looted from a mission. Everything else is armor that I bought from uh, the actual store. Now, it does not say attributed here. But if you go to the website and you look at your hanger, it'll tell you uh, what you bought and then it's attributed. Now, mind you, with those gears came weapons. The only weapons were sniper rifles. That's all that it gives you. So this weapon I looted in a mission. Uh, this weapon I looted in a mission. That weapon I looted in a mission. And this one was actually given to me uh, by RSI or Star Citizen. Um, so basically, you need to put your helmet back on, first off. You don't want to go outside the space station without your helmet on. You will die. Okay. So, to give you a general rundown, we're in the space station. You use your F key to pretty much interact with anything. Uh, the lights on the wall. It, without your F key, nothing will light up. Uh, you can make a cup of coffee. You can open doors. Uh, and so on and so forth. All with the F key. That's one of your main keys. Oh, we're on the bottom floor. Okay, now, one thing that I want to explain to you. Yes, if you're doing the play for free uh, event that rolls around every now and then, then they gave you a couple of ships or a few ships to fly. At the end of that event, you will lose those ships. Those are not your ships permanently. Um, so I recommend just buying the lowest budget uh, starter pack ship, which will run you about 40 bucks. Uh, in between 30 to 45 depending on uh, when you buy it and whether it's on sale or not. Um, and that'll give you your first starting ship. Now, granted, mind you, once you get in the game and start earning credits, then you can buy better and bigger ships. That's the way it works. Um, unless you have a really good job and you can afford to buy bigger and better ships, then you can buy some from the website also. Uh, you can also upgrade your ship, your starter ship, to a little bit better ship, slowly but surely. Like, I, I started out with uh, I started out with one of the starter pack ships. Then I upgraded to a uh, 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 was the Anvil Crusader. I think it was. I can't remember the actual name of that ship. Uh, and then I upgraded that ship to the uh, to the uh, uh, Cutlass Black. Um, so you can upgrade the ship a uh, little at a time to get a better ship. And that's how I did it. Now, now that you're in game for the first time, 
when you start out, you're going to start out in the habitat area. So you have to come down the elevator, no matter what port you're at, what station, Port Olasar, that's the other one. Um, so you basically have, and I'm going to show you real quick on the star map. Um, you have, this is where we at, are at, which is the Hurston area. Um, and, and we are at Lorville. Uh, area 18 is over here in the Ark area, where it says Ark Court. Uh, Crusader is one of the other areas... And that is going to be uh, Port Olasar. Um, and then one of the other areas is going to be Grim Hex. Or, uh, I'm sorry, correction. Not Grim Hex. Microtech. That's going to be the other ones, which is, are the MICs. Um, so those are going to be your areas in which you can start at. I chose Lorville just because it's kind of centrally located between everything. And that's kind of why I chose it. Now, while we are on this location or this area, okay, to give you an idea, if you you have a wristband on, which is called a Moby Glass. If you press F1, this is your Moby Glass. This tells you what your heart rate is, what the external atmosphere is, your suit's status, and how much oxygen you have remaining in your suit. As long as you're in a space station, you're not going to be using any oxygen. But if you go free floating to an enemy ship or whatever, you will be using oxygen. Um, here is my credit balance. Now, UEC means United Earth Credit. Uh, and that's what UEC means. And then you have your crime stat. If you kill a friendly or kill another player, you will get a crime stat. Other than that, this window here really doesn't give you a whole lot of information that you need to stay at on a regular basis. Um... What you are going to worry about is kind of down here. Okay, so first off, you have your comm link. Your comm link is what you have for global chat. Um, that's also how you talk to your friends. And when you get ready to take off, if you are in a hangar that has roof over it, you have to request uh, takeoff permission and landing permission. Some stations and some areas, and if, if it has an outside landing pad, you don't have to ask permission to land. You can just land. And then once you get to the terminal, you can store your ship. These are any, any pending friend requests that you might have. Uh, this is where you can manage your microphone level or your sound volume level for push to talk. In other words, for the auto, audio people talking to you in game and you talking to them. Um, this is the members that are currently on. 
Um, I... 2022-0037. I don't know if who those guys are. But either that's somebody that's multi-boxing three accounts. Or maybe those are members of uh, Star Citizen. In other words, the actual developers. I don't really know what names they go by in-game. Uh, this is how many people are on in your server and what the server or the server's cap is. So right now the cap for this server is 93 and we're at 90 of 93. Um, to get off of that real quick, uh, this up here means that you have comms and you are in a armistice zone, which means you can't fire or pull out your weapon in this zone. Okay, vehicle loadout management. We don't currently have a vehicle. Um... I can pull one from here just to show you. Alright, so this is my Anvil Pisces rescue ship. This is what it looks like. It is highly detailed. They spent a lot of time detailing every nook and cranny of the ship. Oh, I like how the door kind of flips. Okay, anyway, these buttons over here tells you uh, any extras that you have on your ship. In other words, what coolers are on your ship, what power plant, what quantum drive, what shield generator, what paint scheme you're currently using, and what vehicle weapons you have on your ship. Um, and that's basically what this screen tells you. And it's what you also use to upgrade your ships. Uh, this is the Mercury Star Runner. It is very, very big. Um, it's a multi-crew ship. Um, and I could actually probably park the Pisces inside it. Um, but, some of the, the ships that I do have, um, which is the, the Drake Cutlass, I don't know if it'll let me click on any that are locked. Uh, this is my ship, the Freelancer, the Drake Cutlass Black. The Pisces and the Arrow. I own those. <clears throat> this one I don't actually own. It is given. Ooh, it is given to us players that have been on for a while as a free fly ship. So. As long as the f free fly is available, we can we can play with that ship. Um, and this is the weapons that are on that ship, which is quite a bunch. And you can change all of that. But we're not going to get into any of that really right now. Oh, what is that, dude? Is popcorn and something fierce? Wow. That dude needs a better internet. Okay, so. To start from the 20 minute zone. 
<clears throat> of this video. So, you're new to Star Citizen. Basically, you, you haven't done anything yet. What I recommend is you find at whatever port you start out with. They're going to give you some starting credits. Um, and when you go to whatever starting port you're at, you're going to have uh, some vendors that will sell goods. Like, for example, uh, nope, wrong way. For example, in Lorville, one of the places is Tannery and Son, or uh, Tammany and Sons. When you go in there, uh, why is there a backpack on the floor? Okay, are you really going to let, just let me put this in there? Okay, I'm not complaining guys. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm glad I came here. Let's see if it actually put it in there. It sure did. Wow. So I didn't have to pay for that because somebody dropped it on the floor. Okay, I'm not going to complain about that. Their loss is my gain. Huh. That does not happen very often. Okay? Just saying. Um, the same thing basically you can buy armor from here uh, to get you going um, even under suits you can buy those from here as well okay you can also go to a terminal there will be a terminal inside the shop you can click on that terminal and up here in the top corner, you can select what category you want. For example, personal weapons. Okay, and you'll see there's personal weapons here. Uh, now, here at this facility, they do not sell actual rifles. Uh, or anything of that nature. You can buy the ammo here, but you can't buy a weapon. So what I recommend is the weapon that they give you starting out should be a pistol. Uh, and basically just buy some rounds for that pistol. And you're pretty much done. You can also sell things here that you have. Uh, like I could sell this for 1.1K. I don't want to sell it. Don't need to sell it. But you can sell things that you pick up if you want to. I don't normally do that. Okay, so that gives you a basic rundown of what to do first off. Find you a vendor. And if they sell weapons, get you a weapon. 
if they don't sell weapons, get you a few clips for the weapon that they give you. Alright, then after you do that, the next thing we are going to look at is on our Moby Glass. So, your Moby Glass pretty much is your everything. It's your go-to. Uh, it's how you maintenance your ships. How you repair your ships. How you adjust your pilot seat. Uh, how you dock with a refueler. Um, and yes, there is refueling ships in this game. Uh, the commodity market. Um, this is the trade you trust. Which, this is Mr. Trader. And you can click on begin and you can trade money with anybody that you want to okay and this is how you do it we're not going to do that but we are going to uh i want to show you this key right here is contract manager this is the window that you're going to start out using First, I recommend if you just starting out the game, you're not going to have much for credits or weapons or anything else. So I recommend that you do the delivery run first and do the Red Wind Seeking New Pilots. That'll give you 3,000 and you'll have to pick up a package from one location and drop it off in another location. And that's a quick 3,000. You can do that two or three times and you'll have enough to buy you some decent weapons. And I recommend going to Area 18 to buy your decent weapons because... Uh, I know Area 18 sells weapons. Um, some of your orbital space stations, like here at Lorville, you can't buy weapons. But I think at Everest Harbor, there will be some weapons in the terminal there. <coughs> I may be wrong about that. Um, if for any reason you get hurt and you cannot get a heal, you can do a, uh, a beacon. And that's going to put it under this tab. <coughs> so you would click on beacon and then you would click on create beacon and once it's created it is gonna put it here and then somebody will be able to click on it and they can come to you and render assistance if you just need uh, combat assistance in deep space uh, some people may need a heal in deep, or uh, you know, like if you get injured on a planet, you may want to send out a beacon to get some health. Okay, but like I said, the first thing I would do is click on delivery, run a couple of these package missions. Once you run a few of those then you'll be able to get you some better gear. Uh, once, once you get done with that and get you some better gear, uh, you can also do Bounty Hunter. But in order 
to do the bounty hunter missions, you have to get your tracker training permit, and that's going to cost you 500 uh, UEC um, to be able to be certified to track down bounties. And then you're going to have to do the suspect apprehension one, which is going to cost you another 500 Now, that's the only two times you're going to have to pay for it yourself. After that, they will give you bounty missions that will pay you uh, money for either tracking that person down and killing them or apprehending them. Another thing that I recommend is the mercenary tab. Now, this is what, if you've watched any of my other two videos that I have up currently, this is what you're going to see me doing. And basically, how you want to do this is the very first thing you want to do is you want to click on a call to arms and you want to accept it. Because for every bad guy you kill, if, if it's killed in a justified manner, in other words, you're dealing with an outlaw, you're gonna, they're going to pay you an additional bonus of 500 UEC for every criminal you kill. And then you'll accept a, well, you're going to have a training mission first off, uh, which will be like a 15,000 mission, so it'll be one like this, and then you're going to accept that one. When you accept this one, you're going to go to this area here, or wherever it tells you to go, because uh, the very first line will be the security personnel at, and it's going to tell you where to go. Alright, anyway, to make a long story short, once you accept this mission, and I tell you what, I'll go ahead and accept this one, okay, and then I'll go back and I'll accept this one because I want to show you this when this pops up make sure that this one is highlighted and you click track don't track a call to arms because here's the reason for that if I click a call to arms and I track it and then I get out of my Moby glass Okay. I don't see anything around me. Okay. Now, and, and that means something. You'll notice there's no blue squares anywhere under the ground or anywhere like that telling you where to go. Okay, so you have to click on, you have to click on accepted, click on that one, and then track. And then when you get out of the Moby Glass, now you're going to see a blue square. That is where you have to go. So that's why you want to make sure that you have that one tracked and not the a call to arms. Now, secondly, once you do that mission, you're going to get paid 15,000 UEC for completing that mission. 
what is important for you guys to realize when you start doing those missions it is just like a real life situation you don't have a health bar where you can take 15 20 rounds and just stand there and get shot at and get hit three or four times that's not the case if you doing one of these missions you need to be extremely cautious you don't move out and get shot at you hide behind cover let them come to you and then kill them as they come to you now when you get down to one left yeah if you feel a little frisky you can go after that one but bear in mind if that guy gets one two good shots into you you're dead when you die in this game your gear, your weapons, everything that you had on you stays with your corpse. So when you revive in the hospital, your ship will be where you died. You'll have to claim your ship to get it back. And then you're going to have to fly to that zone again and retrieve your corpse to get your gear back otherwise all your gear is gone now the bad thing to that is if you die and you have to claim your ship if you've taken gear like weapons things like that and put it in the internal inventory of that ship you're going to lose that gear too because when an insurance claim is filed on your ship they basically just give you a new ship and they write that one off as a total loss so anything on that ship is gone any mods you had installed, any different weapons you had installed, any different coolers, whatever. All of that modded equipment is gone. And any inventory that was kept in the ship's inventory. So, be very, very careful. Get to know the game first by doing the package delivery mission. And then, once you do the package delivery missions and you're, you're, you feel safe enough doing it, then you can go after and do one of these security uh, assist missions. I also recommend... And this is a very, very big recommend. Now, I'm biased because I'm in the guild of uh, Phoenix. Uh, and I, I would recommend looking for on the website, the main website. Um, there are guides which are players in the game who will offer to guide you through the game getting to learn the basics and I recommend that you go through that list and find a guide that is in your time zone and speaks your language or that you're comfortable with and apply for that guide and don't just apply for one apply for two or three that are within that time zone a good one that I can recommend to you his name is Star Tafari 
he is a guide, uh, and he will, he's very patient, very understanding, and he's a great teacher to help teach you the basics of the game. Um, I would do it, but frankly, I don't think I really have enough time in the game yet uh, to apply to become a, a guide, uh, but it is something that would interest me as well. Anyway, um, that's basically the information that I can give you. Secondly, I do want to specify this. Crime stats, just like we talked about. If you kill another player in the game, if that player turns you in, you will get a crime stat. Which means as long as you have a crime stat, the only port that is going to allow you to land is Grim Hex. Uh, so bear that in mind because you may have to fly a long ways to be able to get a landing permission to get landed. Uh, otherwise, if you try to land at your home base, whichever, wherever your residence is, um, they're going to, security is going to arrest you. And you're going to go to prison. And there is a prison in the game. And based on whatever you did is going to give you a certain amount of time that you have to serve a sentence in the prison. For example, if you kill somebody, you may have to spend 18 minutes in prison. You think 18 minutes ain't long, but this minute this video is 42 minutes so far and we really haven't talked about one-third of the actual things that you can do. Uh, you have mining uh, that you can do where you mine for commodities, uh, but you do have to have a mining vessel. You can mine on foot on some planets, um, and you can get some stuff but it's very very slow doing that uh, so I do not recommend getting into mining <clears throat> until you can afford the proper ship um, because it, t it really takes a ship for that Other than that, that's pretty much it that I can give you right off the bat. Uh, I just recommend that you you pay attention to what you're doing. You make sure that you're playing it safe when you need to. Uh, like, especially if you're doing a security mission. You want to make sure that you're running that mission as safe as possible um, and then secondly if you don't feel comfortable running that mission by yourself wait and do it with somebody to go through it the first time That way, you're not going through it by yourself, and somebody can kind of guide you through how to do it without getting killed. That's, that's what I recommend. Also, I do want to talk about this map. 
this map can tell you a lot. Uh, points of interest. You have the central booking. Uh, Maria's Pure of Heart, which is the hospital. That's where, if you're here, you're going to wake up at that hospital. The hospital is actually just down the stairs um, from where we're at now. Um, uh, Tammany and Sons, that's where we were at to show you where the gear was. And where you want to go is to the Metro Center. Um, in order to get to... Don't go to the city gates. You want to go to uh, Tisa Spaceport. Which is from the red dot where it says you are here. It's the green dot just to the right of us. So that's, that's where the spaceport is. Which says spaceport line. And you see an arrow going this way. We gotta go that way. Here's the hospital. That's where you're gonna go if you die. Once you get here to go to the spaceport, we gotta go that way. It's just about following the signs, guys. That's all there really is to it. And then from here, we're going to wait on the tram. We got 13 seconds. Once you get, the, uh, and I do want to tell you this, don't stand right at the edge of these doors. Because when that tram comes, it can suck you through the floor and you'll end up falling through the space station. That has happened to several people I know. Be considerate to your fellow uh, I can't and see my stat in see, see, somebody in chat right now is talking about their crime stat. They can't see their stat in, in Grim Hex. Arriving, Tisa Spaceport. Please watch your step when disembarking the train. All right, we're fixing to stop, and once we get out, we're just going to follow the lines. And here, you're going to go to where it says Customs. Don't go this way. That's going to take you to the business, the commerce line, which is the wrong line. You want to go to the blue line, which is to the spaceport. This is the customs area, right up in here, and right around this corner right there. From here on it'll be the blue line or blue so this is to the actual spaceport. And this is where you request your ship. Right here at these terminals. That guy's requesting a ship right now. And he has an anvil arrow and a couple of others. I couldn't see but one. He's got several anvil ships. Uh, and these are some of what the ships look like. Uh, the mining ship that I was talking about 
I actually showed that in one of my other videos. Um, this is a racer. Uh, that is a mining ship right there. Um, and that's one of the ones that you're going to need if you're planning on doing any mining. This is one of the starter ships right here. This Aurora. And that's what I started out with was the Aurora. And I upgraded uh, to a different ship. Um, right here at this terminal, you can buy, like I have enough to buy the Mustang Alpha right now, credit-wise. Uh, I do not currently own that ship, and I actually like that ship. But I'm going to wait till I've got a little bit more credits before I buy it. Uh, this is the one that I had. I upgraded the Aurora to the Avenger Titan. And, and, uh, Titan has a pretty decent cargo hold. It is a transport and courier. But it can work as a fighter, too. It does have weapons. And it's actually a pretty nice looking ship. And then you have the Warlock. Uh, the Warlock is a combat ship. Uh, but it is also... Uh, okay, the Stalker. That's the one. The Stalker has prison cells in it. So if you plan on doing... Any missions where you got to uh, apprehend a bad guy, you got to have a prison cell on your ship. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to store the guy in a in a cell. Um, and there's all kinds of ships. The Gladius, I did have that one for a little while. Uh, the Reclaimer. This is a salvage ship. It's used to salvage wrecks. Uh, the Retaliator looks like a fighter. Looks like an SR-71 on steroids. Um, the Vanguard Warden, that is a, uh, uh, a ship that has prison cells. Um, the Freelancer, I have that ship, which is a pretty good sized ship, and has a lot of cargo room. Um, uh, the Razor, that's a, a, a competition racer. Um... The Reliant Core, that's one of the starter ships that you can buy. Um, the Starfarer, this is a refueling ship. This is one that somebody would get and you would refuel from it while you're in flight. And here's the Aurora, which is a starter ship. Uh, you have the combat version and the multi-role, which is the starter one. Uh, and then you have a Ursa, which is a ground vehicle. Uh, the Cyclone, which is a ground vehicle. The Cyclone RC, which is a racing, the RN, which is an explorer, uh, the T or TR, which is a uh, ground combat. I mean, there's quite a few different kinds. You got 
this one. Uh, this is an exploration one of the Aurora. So anyway, just to, just to give you an idea, guys. Um, but like I said, that's just a look at some of the ships that you can get. Uh, some of them are on display over there. Uh, you can actually go through them. One of my videos highlights me actually going through one. Um, but that's pretty much it. I mean, that's all I can really tell you, you new guys, is... Guys, this game is very complex. Uh, it's got a big learning curve. And the best way to start out is doing the delivery missions. Get your money built up a little bit first. Then you can go in and find a buddy or go and hire a guide and let a guide take you on some of those missions and get you some practice running some of those security missions. That's the best way to do it. And the quickest way to not get aggravated with a game. Um, Alright guys, other than that, that's really all I can tell you. I'm going to go ahead and jump off. This has been your host, Von Klaus, and I hope you like the video and will come back and watch some more of them. And I hope to look forward to seeing you guys in the game. Uh, my in game name is Von Klaus, so feel free to holler at me if you happen to see me. It's actually Von Klaus OG original. Uh not original gangster. I'm too old to be a gangster. But anyway, peace out everybody. Have a good one.